Hi! In this video, we will talk about labeled possible on point processes. Previously, we obtained a labeled multi Bernoulli mixture filter by using a labeled multi Bernoulli birth. So an obvious idea is to try to obtain a labeled Poisson multi Bernoulli mixture filter by using a labeled Poisson point process birth. However, as we will see later in this video, this is not quite completely theoretically sound, but we can do this anyway if we use some heuristics. A labeled Bernoulli with parameters R, P and L represents either no object or one object. And if we sample a labeled Bernoulli RFS and obtain an object, then it must have label L. And this generalizes to LMB and LMBM. If we sample, we know precisely which sampled object has which unique label. Now, consider instead a labeled Poisson point process with intensity lambda for the state x and some label distribution. This represents any finite non-negative number of labeled objects that can be indexed 1, 2, and so on. So a property of the Poisson point process is that the objects are independent and identically distributed. So if we were to sample a labeled Poisson point process, then the states xi are independent and identically distributed with Poisson point process intensity lambda, and the labels li are also independent and identically distributed with some label distribution over the labels l1, l2, and so on. So what this means is that it is possible in other words, it has non-zero probability that two or more objects have the same label. And in other words, label uniqueness cannot be guaranteed with a labeled Poisson point process. And this is very problematic because unless the labels are unique, they are not useful for us. At this point, a tempting and simple idea to get around this problem is to just ignore the theory and to use some heuristic modification of the PMBM algorithm. So for example, when a new Bernoulli is initiated by a measurement Z with index J, it can be given a unique identifier such as the tuple K, J. Sometimes this is called the metadata for the initiated Bernoulli. And this metadata or label would then remain constant over time. This does lack a certain theoretical elegance but it does work in practice. So we can call this a heuristically labeled PMBM filter. Notice that we put labeled in quote marks. This is to emphasize that this is not a labeled filter in the true sense of the word labeled. In this filter, we would not have any labels for the undetected Poisson point process. The metadata would be used to heuristically label the Bernoullis when they are first initiated. However, it's only the first assignment of the metadata as label that is heuristic. The treatment in all subsequent time steps is the same as in the LMBM. Such a label filter works, but it also lacks a sound theoretical basis. And as we mentioned, it is not a true labeled filter. And in comparison, labeled multi Bernoulli mixture has a sound theoretical basis. Now, this difference might seem minor. If the practical algorithm works well, why should it matter so much what the theory says? And the answer is that by knowing what the theoretically exact density is at any given time, we can make intelligent and computationally tractable approximations of it. We can analyze the approximation error and we can design smarter tracking algorithm. And therefore it makes sense to base our tracking algorithms on a solid theoretical foundation instead of basing the tracking algorithm on heuristics that seem like they make sense. However, importantly, even if we can implement a heuristically labeled PMBM filter, this does not solve the inherent challenges involved with using labels to form trajectories, such as gaps and switching. And these challenges will be the topic of a later video. That was labeled Poisson point process and why it's problematic as well as heuristically labeled PMBM filter, which is a heuristic approach to tracking with labeled objects. Next, we will have a look at some of the challenges we face when we use labels to form trajectories.